I've been thinking that we really yeah. all need a tremendous yeah. hug in the world right now. Yeah. But in our country, we need you to be Mamala of the country. Well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor, hit the like, hit that subscribe, point favor. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken folks, what are we talking about today? What are we talking about today? Man, so when diversity, equity, inclusive, higher goes wrong, you have a problem. Biden administration, we've been saying this for so long, DEI didn't earn it. When you hire people on those standards, you gonna have a problem on your hands. Now, the Biden administration love to talk about they're the first to have an African-American yada, 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 right? So. All they care about is checking out the boxes. You check out the boxes and you have a vice president called Kamala. I think it's very important, as you have heard from so many incredible leaders, for us at every moment in time, and certainly this one, to see the moment in time in which we exist and are present. And to be able to contextualize it, to understand where we exist in the history and in the moment as it relates not only to the past, but the future. All right. Everybody knows she's an idiot. He goes again. He's a uh, uh, Supreme Court. He just wants a black woman. I don't care who it is. And then you have Kataja Brown. Can you provide a definition for the word woman? Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? N not in okay. this context. So I'm not a biologist. So you the meaning of the word woman is so unclear and controversial that you can't give me a definition? Senator, in my work as a judge, what I do is I address disputes. If there's a dispute about a definition, people make arguments, and I look at the right. law, and I decide. Well, so I'm not... The fact that you can't give me a straight answer about something as fundamental as what a woman is underscores the dangers of the kind of progressive education that we are hearing about. <laughs> but the one that gets them the most is the press secretary, the Haitian let dollar sign be in Kareem Jean-Pierre. Yeah, this one here. And last one. Why is the president bragging today about gas prices? Because it's gone down. It's still a dollar and 72 cents higher than when he took office. It, is gone, it has come down in a way that we haven't seen its trajectory coming down in over a decade. Still and over it is, $4 a gallon okay. though, is that good? You want to talk to a nurse or a teacher? or a firefighter, if, if having that little bit of breathing room doesn't matter to them. Are nurses and teachers and firefighters saying gas prices are only $4.11? I'm saying that, great. I'm saying that, that, that even that little bit of breathing room matters to families, especially during this summer when people are traveling, when people are trying to do what they can for their families, when people are trying to think about what are we going to do with our kids, drive them to camp, driving to see other family members across the country. This 
matters. When you think about 85 cents uh, per month for a family member, you think that doesn't matter for everyday Americans? That matters. And the reason we're seeing that is because of the work that this president has done the last several months. It's because of what the historic tapping of the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, uh, one million uh, gallons per day until September. That matters uh, because of all the work that he continues to do when it comes to inflation. So he's going to continue. There's more work to be done. He's going to continue to do that work. It's so funny that we have uh, Democrats like Hillary Clinton says that the, the administration is good. They just have a problem with a messaging problem. They have a messaging problem. They don't know how to package the message. Your problem is your DEI hire. Jean Pierre over here, the Haitian Libesian. What? That's your problem. She don't know how to message it. She's always referring to her binder. If I have anything new for you on that, uh... I think it's been a couple of days since we have asked, been asked that question. Okay. I don't have anything new. I know we made some announcements last week. Uh, I don't. I just don't have them in front of me. But if you want to come back and we'll we'll talk through uh, the things that we have been able to do in the past, well, the most recent activities that we've done. Whenever you ask a question especially Peter Ducey, when he asks her a simple question, what is today? She goes to her binder. As it relates to um, uh, the death of the officer, look, our hearts go out uh, to this officer who tragically lost his life in the line of duty. We're also praying for his family during this difficult time, uh, who now has an empty seat at their dinner table. President Biden is deeply grateful for the sacrifices police officers make to keep our community safe. Uh, this shooting is yet another painful reminder of the toll of gun violence, that what, it's, what it's doing to inflict uh, on families and our communities and our nation. Uh, and that's why the president signed more than two dozen executive actions. Yeah. So this is what happens when you hire people that's not qualified. DEI. She did not earn it. We have other people, like, uh, what's the guy's name? What's this guy's name? John Kirby over here. He's more better at this. Thanks. John, has President Biden considered maybe beefing up the public Iran posture to be more than just one word? You're, you're referring to don't. Yeah. And so let's talk no, about... And they did it anyway. And let's talk so about what we did, Peter. Let's talk about don't and did. Let's talk about Saturday night. He made it clear that he didn't want to see escalation in the region. And... and let me finish. He added military resources to the region right after October 7th. And then when we had an inkling that this kind of thing was coming, he added even more military resources to the region. More destroyers that were capable of shooting down ballistic missiles, fighter, a fighter squadron that was able to shoot down drones. And that's what we did. So you can talk about the, the don't word all you want, but let's talk about what did happen. And what did happen was Iran utterly failed. And if I'm sitting in Tehran right now, I'm betting that President Biden takes it pretty seriously when he says don't escalate. He's going to act to make sure that you can. And they didn't. And it, yes, they fired an unprecedented amount of munitions. But how much of a success did they have, Peter? None, zero, very little infrastructure. It was an embarrassing failure for the Supreme Leader and for the IRGC. When he's on the podium, he's quick with it. He don't have to look at the binder. He answer you with looking at you at the eye and answer the question. So now, now that Biden is failing, he's faltering in the polls, they have a messaging problem. They're trying to push her out. They're trying to give another job. She won't go. Mm -mm. She loved that job. She refused to go. They've been trying to get her out. They're trying to give her a soft landing, make her, you know, uh, find her own way to quit. She won't do it. So now you got a problem on your hands, and that's what you get. She did not earn it. You put her there, and now she's sinking your boat. Yeah, she's dead weight. You can't fire her now. DEI hire, you cannot do a DEI fire. Nah, sir. So now you're stuck with her. Now you got, what, seven, eight months to turn 
the ship around to package your message. You can't do it with this binder reader here. She don't know what she's doing. She's well over her head. I think she's been there, what, three years? Now, uh, Kampasaki, that knucklehead there, she went off and did her own TV show. And she's good at it, I guess. But the Haitian Libesian, nah, nah, she sucks. She sucks at it. But you can't say that because she's a black woman, right? You got to treat her with kid gloves, right? Well, shit, that's you. You got to hold on to that. She's the one that's sinking your boat. Matter of fact, if you're going to get rid of her, you might as well get Kamala out too. She's awful. It's a reflection of our moment and our time, right? And, and, and present culture is the way we express how we're feeling about the moment. And, and we should always find times to express how we feel about the moment. That is a reflection of joy because, you know, it comes in the morning. <laughs> Awful, but you chose her because you wouldn't do check boxes. You don't care if they were qualified, you just wanted to make sure it was a black woman. I don't care. And there you go. There you go. Now you gotta wear that noose around your neck and you gotta deal with it on your own, sir. I hope all you uh, CEOs out there are paying attention. I hope you colleges also are paying attention. Do not in, uh, include people that does not deserve it just because of their skin color. Just because you try to fill a quota out because you're gonna have this problem here. Man, oh man, but hey, shit, the hell do I know? I'm just a driver. <laughs> if you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor, hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you folks that did not earn it, get off my lawn.